Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Bridget and welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all having an awesome day wherever you are. And today's video is going to be how to save money for your vacation or the summertime. I know since I am working full time at home on YouTube, I have to find a couple ways to make some money to try to afford a vacation in July. And yeah, I'm just super excited to share some tips with you. So without any further ado, let's jump into the video. Do you guys think I talk too fast? Because sometimes I feel like I do. Anyways, I put a video every single freaking day. So you want to subscribe? I'd appreciate it. So, first thing. Today's video is sponsored by Poshmark, which Poshmark is my favorite way to make money really fast online. I like to sell a bunch of stuff up there and I'm really glad to be working with them on today's sponsored video. And let's get started. So the first way to make money super fast is by using apps like Poshmark to sell things around your house that you don't use anymore, sell clothes you don't wear anymore. I just did a video with them um, a week or two ago. I'll leave it linked down below for you on my closet declutter. I'm also going to be decluttering some things today. So by the time you're seeing this video, I'm going to be listing some more items for you to check out. I did a lot of decluttering of dresses and things that I own, but I really want to get to the back look closet and underneath the storage of the bed, get some clothes out that I don't really wear that I think are super cute and find them a nice home and make a couple dollars because I am still trying to save a couple save a couple monies to go to the Supercon in July. So that's a quick way to make money and I am super excited to do some decluttering with you now. Okay, so I picked some things out of my closet that I am going to part with and sell on Poshmark, trying to get this money. Um, I have a lot of clothes. It's just how it is. I'm going to go through these pretty quickly because I'm not trying to do like a whole closet declutter video. I'm just going to show you some stuff that I'm going to list. This first one is my favorite thing I'm listing. <laughs> it's so cute. It fits me fine. It isn't this tiny. It has like the back, but it folds over. It's just the most adorable thing in the world. It has like a built-in frame to the bottom of the skirt. But unfortunately, I'm very sensitive to the metal material in the zipper. So, next up we have this Kim Rogers dress with little sleeves that go off. Then we have a cute little striped dress with this nice little checkered back. I like the little crisscrossy with the cute little buttons. Next up we have this cute black, very smooth and silky feeling dress. Very stretchy. It has this nice cutout with like this bar across the top. I think it's really pretty. Next up we have this cute dress with this mesh, um... What do you call these? Straps? Next up is a dress that I freaking adore. I wore like four times. This has like a lace in the middle. It's kind of see-through. And it's such a cute little skater dress with like a little flary accent. I got it because I thought I could show off my rib tattoo. Next up is this cute dress. It's kind of tied up right now. But it's kind of like an off-the-shoulder striped dress. Next up, this cute uh, straight bodycon style dress. I just like the pattern and the triangle in the middle. Next up, we have a long dress, which I love. It has this cute pink design at the bottom, but unfortunately, it just doesn't fit me the right way. Next, we have this super cute dress. It is this play with fairies, ride a unicorn, swim with mermaids, and fly to the moon. Little black piece. It's so cute. Next, we have a dress that I was never brave enough to wear. It is really cute. It has little cutouts on the side, but unfortunately, it got like kind of love handles down there, so I decided not to wear it. Next up, we have this cute, I love this one, bright yellow spring colored dress. Obviously, you guys can tell I really love this fit. Next up, we have this cute little turtleneck sweater, which I got from Red Up. Next up, we have this cute dress with a red bow in the back. I wore this to an, there's a string on it. I wore this to the Ava Gardner um, little event I went to last year or the year before. Sorry about the sirens, but it's been a while. Next, I am selling this North Face jacket. There's a couple of things of lint on it, but it's super cute. I just don't think I'm gonna wear it that much. Okay, so this is a cute dress. You know, I love the skater fit. It makes your tiniest part look so cute. And has like half sleeves, and I just like the navy blue and brown together. Unfortunately, I don't have any shoes to go with it, so I'm just deciding to part with it. Next item is this super cute dress. I just have so many like it. Um, it's all black, really pretty, and I like the long zipper in the back because it makes it so easy to slide on. Next up is this dress with a cute little belt on it, another half sleeve little skater dress. This dress is handmade, so it's um, one of a kind. It's made by Unbiased Costumes. 
So it has like handmade quality to it. I loved the collar, the bow. The bow is like pinned on and I like the strawberry bottom. Unfortunately, the chest is just a little bit small for me because I do wear super padded bras. But uh, it's super cute. Lastly, we have this um, little off the shoulder dress. The shoulders are go down and it's just super pretty, super flattering to like the bottom half of me. Um, but you know, I don't wear that many things with sleeves. Anyways, those are most of the things I'm going to be listing. I'll list some more stuff, of course, like makeup and stuff like that. But again, link down below. Now let's continue with the video. Okay, so the second way that you can save money is by thrifting. Thrifting is something we've covered a lot on this channel and the dangers of working at a thrift store. <laughs> but I still do enjoy thrifting is to make sure everything is clean before I wear it, of course. Uh, clean everything, even if it's not um, something you wear. Clean everything. Clean your hands after you leave the thrift store immediately douse that stuff with hand sanitizer do not try on clothes in a thrift store but thrifting is a really good way to make some money so i'm going to take you with me today we're going to go thrifting and see if we can find anything that we can kind of sell online you can do this with poshmark as well you can sell things other than clothes up there also you can also sell things to people in your neighborhood people use the facebook yard sale pages for their towns a lot to sell things and, you know, it's just a really good way to make money. So we're going to see if we can find anything today for cheap that we can kind of bounce back. Usually I try to find, like, vintage items. I'll kind of tell you when we go what I'm looking for. And, yeah, let's go. Okay, so I'm here at the Salvation Army. And we're going to go look for something maybe kind of unique or vintage. Mostly I try to look for things that are affordable. So not paying, like, a huge price tag for. They do mark up some items. Um, but mostly I want things that are unique. And you're not really going to see that often. If I see like a Hollister sweater that's going to be everywhere, I don't really pick it up. But I look for something older or cool. Oh baby, I'm falling for you. Saying I should not be looking down. Looking left, looking right up down your hall around. You know that I'm falling for you. Oh baby, I'm falling for you. Okay, so I'm leaving the Salvation Army. The good thing about them is they have these tag days or like whatever color the tag is, it's half off that day. Since this one had a yellow tag, it was half off. So the bag was $2.99 and it came out to like a dollar or something, which is awesome because it's such a good deal. Like it's New Balance, it's great. And also at the counter there was a Disneyland mug, like a vintage, like old Disneyland mug. And I really wanted that, like I had to have it. It's great. I don't even know if I want to sell it, it's so cool. But um, yeah, good first stop. Okay, so the Pink Panther jacket you just saw is the coolest thing I found today. So cool. I got up to register and the lady was like, you must have telepathy because I saw you with the pink hair and I just knew you'd be drawn to that jacket if you found it. And uh, yeah, clearly it's the coolest freaking thing ever. Now, are these three items I bought at the thrift store today going to equal to $275 that I need for my hotel rooms for that weekend for vacation? No. But if you do this like once or twice a week, it kind of can add up, especially if you have like a really good day and you find like five or six items. It doesn't cost me anything to come out here and just shop for like half an hour. I've only been gone half an hour. And like I found three good things. So it's like, it's been a pretty successful thrifting day. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed that little segment. Now the last couple ways that I do 
like to make money online if I can. It's not things that I'm really good at, but the first thing is Amazon affiliates. I am an Amazon affiliate, which means I can put links and people click on them. And if they buy what I linked, I get like a 1% or something of it. So usually I make like $20 a month doing this. It doesn't seem like much, but like it's free money to me. I just link my lighting kit and my hair color and description box. So if someone clicks on that, then I get like a penny or two. It's fine. <laughs> depending on what they buy. The most I've made in a month is $100 and the least I've made is like $3. So um, it all depends on the month. If you, you don't have to be a YouTuber like me to do that. You can also just like, if you have a blog or if you're part of like a Facebook group or you have a lot of Facebook friends and they want to know where you got something, tag it with the affiliate link. Really simple. And the last way is that if you game, stream it on Twitch. If you are not confident about like what you look like or whatever, you can just do a gameplay stream. You don't actually be on camera for it. And sometimes people give donations. You can get like, I see people making tons of money. Personally, I haven't made money on Twitch yet, but maybe soon. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you again to Poshmark for everything. Thank you so much for sponsoring today's video. I really love your app and I will leave my closet linked down below for you guys as well as a download link if you want to try their app. I would definitely recommend it. I buy things up there. I sell things up there. It's just a really good time and I can find a lot of unique items. So without any further ado, I'm going to end this video you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. Bye!